if you own a Samsung Galaxy device, did you know that you're walking around with a desktop computer in your pocket? And they say the iPhone 6 was 100,000 times faster than NASA's Apollo guidance system that landed man on the moon. One of the interesting aspects of the guidance system is the way in which the astronaut controls the guidance equipment through the computer. And he does so by means of the display and keyboard. So imagine what your Galaxy is capable of today. And so many people have yet to learn how to use it to its full potential. But by the end of this video, you won't be one of those people. And they say humans only use 10% of their brain. And this intro is getting way too long, so let me get to the point. In this video, you're gonna learn eight ways that will help you to unleash the full power of your Samsung Galaxy device with Samsung DeX. So I've put together the best tips and tricks that I think you need to know. If you have a smart TV, did you know that there's a good chance you can now connect Samsung DeX via your phone to the TV wirelessly? And to find out if your TVs support this, I recommend you do this. Swipe down from the top of the screen to access your quick settings menu. Scroll across until you see the plus button, hit the plus button, and now drag the DeX quick setting to your quick settings menu. And now that you've done this, whenever you need to use any of the tips from this video, all you need to do is swipe down and tap the DeX button. And when you do that, it will automatically search your local Wi-Fi network for compatible screens to connect to. Pretty much any display that has Miracast will be supported. And yes, you could use this to hijack your family member's TV, but don't do that, because that would just be annoying, but also quite funny. Now, if you don't have a compatible TV, don't worry because all TVs are compatible when you have one of these. It's a USB-C to HDMI adapter. And I picked this up from Amazon for under 10 pounds and trust me, it's worth every single penny. And side note, if you have a monitor that supports USB-C display port, you can use an appropriate C to C cable. But if you have one of these, no matter where you are, if there's a display with a HDMI input, you can access and unleash the power of your Samsung DeX desktop anywhere. And if this is the first time you've heard about DeX, do you want to know what it is? To put it simply, it's a Samsung desktop user interface that's UI is quite similar to Microsoft Windows. So there's a good chance it's gonna look and feel very familiar to you. And what makes this tool so powerful and valuable is that all your phone's apps are available on the big screen and all of your accounts that you're already logged into on your phone carry over and work precisely the same on DeX. You mean precisely, Robin? So now you can see everything on the big screen and you can now browse the web with the full desktop versions of those websites and not simplified mobile versions of them that can sometimes restrict some of the website's features. So that is what it is and how to set it up. Now let's take it up a level and truly free your mind. So if you saw my best accessories for the Samsung Galaxy S23 video, you would have already seen this. And I will link that video at the end of this one if you wanna watch it. This is a pocketable, foldable, full QWERTY Bluetooth keyboard with a trackpad. It's from a company called Sleepview and it is incredible. What makes this great is that you can carry it around in your pocket and when you need to use it, you can connect it to your phone and now you've got a real tactile keyboard typing experience. Also, if you've tethered your phone to a big screen with the HDMI, you can set down the mini keyboard anywhere within Bluetooth range of your device and operate your DeX desktop from far away. So a little side note, you don't have to use a physical keyboard to use DeX. You can use on-screen keyboards as well, but I do recommend the Sleep View and it's under 20 pound, which is amazing value. Anyway, here's a few good use cases for DeX. Let's say you need to write an essay or do some homework. On DeX, you can open up Google Docs or Microsoft Office, or even the web browser versions of those apps. And because you've got so much more screen real estate, you can now split screen things and still see them in full size. For example, you can have your reference material on one side and then your word processing software on the other. Or let's say you've got a bunch of emails that you need to get through or a book that you're writing about the meaning of life. Samsung DeX definitely will help you do that. It's also fantastic for spreadsheets. Have you ever tried to navigate a spreadsheet on a smartphone? It's an absolute nightmare scrolling left to right. With DeX, you can see everything on the big screen and then you've got the trackpad here built into this keyboard which you can use swipe gestures on and scroll gestures. It just makes everything so much easier when it comes to this kind of thing. And also if you want to travel light and you don't want to carry a bag with a laptop and a charger and all that, it doesn't get much lighter than this. This might be obvious to some of you, but I should point it out as I believe is probably one of the most underutilized use cases for DeX. 
is the fact that no matter what display you connect DeX to, when you do, you are turning that display into a smart display. Once connected, you can open up your TV and movie streaming apps on the big screen and watch them via your phone's Wi-Fi connection or data. And if you add a VPN service to the mix, for example, CyberGhost, I've made a video about that, you can now access content from any country around the world, even if you're halfway around the world on your travels. So if you missed your favorite show and you're stuck in a hotel room with a TV full of foreign channels and expensive rental movies, that's fine because Samsung DeX is the solution. Now you know how to connect and use DeX on any display, but did you know you can actually link DeX to a PC display as well? And when you do, you can access all of your phone's app within a window on that PC. And you can also access the phone's storage memory and drag and drop things across to your personal computer. So this means you can filter through your phone's photos and video library and back things up to PC. And you can also organize them nicely into folders and even free up space on your device in the process. And some people might describe this trick as nifty. Okay, now here's another good use case because DeX can be cast to smart devices wirelessly and via HDMI, this opens the door to projectors, which means you could stream movies and browse the web on a 100 inch display on the wall if you happen to have a projector. But a more sensible use case for this would be for presentations, you know, for work and productivity purposes, when you need to explain essential stuff that doesn't make sense without images. This is Chewbacca. He's a seven foot tall Wookiee from Kishik, but he chooses to live on Endor with a bunch of two foot tall Ewoks. And this does not make sense. And you might be wondering, what has this got to do with this video? Absolutely nothing, because this does not make sense. So here's another excellent use case for DeX, video and photo editing. Being able to see things in full screen in HD means that you can fine tune and edit things to look as beautiful as possible. For example, apps like Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom for Android, they are surprisingly advanced. And being able to access all the tools and even use your phone as a large trackpad to make those fine adjustments is powerful and pretty amazing, which is what you will be if you hit that subscribe button. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to throw that in there. This feature will improve as we begin to see USB ports support higher resolutions for DeX in the future. Right now, DeX is capped at 1080, 60 Hertz, but I do believe Samsung's new hardware can output higher resolutions than that. So we're just waiting on Samsung for an update and for some news on when they'll be scaling up DeX. Have you ever wanted to take a family photo at Christmas or something like that, but ended up using the selfie camera, even though you know the rear camera on your phone is far better? Or have you ever wanted to use your phone's main camera to shoot video of yourself or photos of yourself in the proper high res format? Well, with DeX, you can use any display as a field monitor, and this will help you frame the shot perfectly. It will also help you get your lighting right and get the right pose and clearly see what your phone sees through its highest quality optics. This is such a great use case for creators and aspiring creators and for anybody who enjoys photography. And you might not need to use it right now, but remember this one, because one day it could be helpful. All right, my lucky number eight. All of the tips I've shown you so far are practical and can help you solve problems when traveling and also help you be more efficient and productive with the supercomputer in your pocket. And when you work hard, you earn the right to play hard. And yes, because you can open up any Android app on a screen or a projector or a PC, you can turn any of those screens into a games console. And here's another accessory from my best accessories video. It's called the Nacon MGX Pro. It's a Bluetooth LE Xbox licensed phone cradle. There is also a non-pro version of this that works exactly the same and it's a bit cheaper. The great thing about it is that you can use it to hold your phone in place like a regular gaming grip, but because it's connected via Bluetooth, you can also use it at a distance from the big screen, so when your DeX is plugged in via HDMI, you can put your feet up and play some games at a distance. And this is a great way to waste the day in my opinion. And you have to admit, Samsung DeX is powerful. And while we're talking about power, going back to how the iPhone 6 was 100,000 times faster than that old NASA computer, that must mean the latest Samsung Galaxies with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 must be more powerful than Jean-Luc Picard's Starship Enterprise. <laughs> And on that note, if you want to check out some of the best accessories for your shiny new Samsung Galaxy device, there's a thumbnail on the screen. And if you're wondering how I'm playing Nintendo GameCube games on my Android phone, 
that thumbnail is on screen too. And if you want to learn about the S Pen and what you can do with it, that's on screen. And if you check out any one of those, I will see you in the next one. Don't be late.